I blame Dylan O'Brien and Sadie Sink for that. I always think it's Liz Nugget, like Chicken Nugget. She sucks. So bad. Um, he's kind of a douche. A little fort on the floor and I'm very excited. Hello everyone. Welcome to, or back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day. It is July 7th, which means two things. Speak Now Taylor's version has come out today. We will get to that in a bit. And second of all, it's day one of Summerween. I'm so excited. I, um, I've i literally treated this readathon as like a holiday. I'm so lame, but I'm so excited. Anyone who's an avid viewer of the channel will remember Colin. You might even remember the vlog from when we got him and we have a daisy. Oh, they're all here, okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to get before the dogs get too crazy, but I will update you when I start my first read. I need to talk about Speak Now Taylor's version because, oh my god, I love it so much. I have always been a Speak Now girly, ever since, like, I'm quite a new Swifty, okay? I will hold my hand up, I'm quite a new Swifty. Um, ever since the All Too Well music video, I blame Dylan O'Brien and Sadie Sink for that. Um, so about two years, I am, I'm a two year Swifty, and ever since, I've started listening to her entire discography. <sighs> Daisy likes Taylor Swift as well. Speak Now has always been my number one album, like, just hits different. That wasn't a pun. And now it's been re-released. I'm just obsessed. Speak Now, I feel, is for all the 20-something girls who are also teenage girls at heart. I will forever be a teenage girl at heart, no matter that I'm 23 next week. Okay, so I'm about to start my first book for the readathon. Um, my book will be Lying in Wait by Liz. I always think it's Liz Nugget, like Chicken Nugget, but I don't think it is. Um, but we're going to choose a bookmark. I would just like to show you these ones that I made the other day because I'm in love. I'm still in my fangirl phase, like almost 23, but I don't care, I will fangirl. Um, and I still get celebrity crushes because better than real crushes right so i made some bookmarks you're not even ready i made bookmarks of my big three so here we have tom holland joshua bassett and joe keery i am in love um i used tom last time so tom can wait i think we're gonna use josh we use Josh for the first bookmark of the readathon. Also, I am going to be reading outside, so reminder, please wear your SPF because we don't want to be looking like leather skinned grandmas when we're 80, okay? And we don't want skin cancer. Wear your SPF, kids. I didn't even last a chapter in my book before coming back inside. I just can't hack summer, it's too hot. Okay, so I am about 40 pages in, I am four chapters into the book and I am really enjoying it. It's told from multiple POVs and at the moment they're all recounting a certain date that has happened where um, this girl has died and it's really interesting. Um, I think I really like when thriller books um, have multiple POVs. To be honest, I like any books that have multiple POVs. But yeah, I just thought I would check in to tell you where I was at and to tell you that I'm really enjoying it. I am now at part two of the book. I think I'm about a third of the way through, which is exciting. Um, but something big has just been revealed in the last chapter. And it looks like the next part has quite a big time jump of five years. Um... So I have no clue how this is going to pan out. A lot has happened already and I'm only 115 pages in. Like a lot has happened. So I'm really, really, really enjoying this book. The one thing I would say is that there's a lot of um, fat phobic comments in it, like fat shaming. So if you were to read this, I just make sure you check for the trigger warnings and of course check for the trigger warnings anyway because it's a thriller, there's there's a lot of things going on. I have just finished watching the latest episode of The Crowded Room, which is Tom Holland's new TV show that he's starring in, and oh my god, so good. And I know I'm probably biased, because 
I'm a big Tom Holland fan. But my god, if you haven't watched it, you need to go see it. See it, watch it. It's on Apple TV. It's a thriller drama. It's set in the 1970s and it's before a uh, multiple personality disorder was diagnosed like before before it was a, a thing and it follows the main character danny after he has just been arrested um for attempting shoot attempted shooting at the rockefeller center and it is so good every week it amazes me it seems to get better every single week like every episode i'm just sat here for a good five minutes after with my jaw on the ground it's so good i swear to god if it doesn't win any awards i know award shows typically don't mean anything because they're rigged um but it's just amazing anyway um now the tom phrase is over um, I'm going to continue reading my book. Before it gets dark it is to get halfway in this book. Um, I think that's about 50 pages so should be able to do it. Okay so I am halfway through the book now and it's basically dark outside. I'm really enjoying it and it's a really interesting concept because it's one of the main POVs is from the villain's point of view and she sucks so bad. She's one of the worst characters I've ever read about. So there's three POVs. There's the villain, there's the villain's son, and then the, like, victim's sister. So you get, like, POVs from, like, all different aspects of the story, and it's so good. It's, like, so well told. And I think all of the, um... All of the POVs, like, work really well together, so yeah i'm really enjoying this book i'm going to pick it up again tomorrow but i'm happy that i'm halfway i could finish it tomorrow um but now it is time for ba -ba -ba -da. i need to get it out of the book trolley it is time for mina and the undead i'm going to see if it's on kindle so i can actually read it in the dark um, but I'm really excited for this one. I think this is the one I'm most excited for in this entire readathon. Um, and I feel like it's like, I know it's YA, but I think it's going to be the scariest book that I'm going to read in the readathon, which is going to be fun. Reading it in the dark. Um, but yeah. <laughs> It is day two of the Summerween Readathon. Um, last night I got about, I did read on my Kindle, but I've like marked it in the book. Um, 41 pages, I'm now on chapter five of Mina and the Undead and I'm really enjoying it. Not a lot has happened, a girl has died, <laughs> but not a lot has happened yet, um, but I'm intrigued. Um, I'll give you more thoughts on it when I get further into the book. And since it is now daytime outside and it's light, I can continue reading Lion in Wait. I really enjoyed reading this yesterday. I mean, as you can tell from my gushing over the book. Um, I'm hoping I could maybe finish it because I'm halfway through um, and I'm starting earlier than I did yesterday. Also, I hope everyone appreciates my Halloween t-shirt. It's from an artist called... Stephen Rhodes I think he does loads of graphic t-shirts in HMV and I love his art style I follow him on Instagram I am going to get into reading this now um I will update you in a bit I guess okay so I needed a bit of a change to my reading setup so I have kind of made a little fort on the floor and I'm very excited so this is what we're dealing with we have cushions and back support here all very cozy obviously got the book and then we've got three layers of blankets here for butt support and i'm very excited oh we've also got the fan 
blasting in the face. I have a little over 100 pages left and one of the characters, the um, villain's son, I don't want to say too much but he's not as nice as I thought he was. Um, he's kind of a douche. That's great. Um, there's literally like one character in this book who doesn't suck. This was a good first book for the readathon. Um, I'm very much enjoying it. Okay, so I have an update for the vlog. We have a TBR change. So like I said earlier, I have about 100 pages left of Lying in Wait. My next book was going to be Don't Speak and this fits the prompt for having reading a book that has black or orange on the cover. Now, this is also a thriller, so I feel like reading two thrillers in a row, it might just get a bit samey. Um, and I feel like they're very similar concepts. Um, so, gonna do a little switcheroo. I'm going to make this my book that I read in the dark, and then I'm going to replace my book with black or orange on the cover for Mina and the Undead because it does have black on the cover. Okay, so I'm setting myself the challenge. I have about three hours until the sun goes down um, to try and finish this book because I want to start my next. Um, I don't know if I will start it tonight because, um, again, it will be a thriller. Um, so I might watch like a spooky film. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give myself three hours to try and finish this. Just to make the point, it is light outside. So, let's go. <laughs> the entire time that I've been reading, I've had a rain ambience on. And I didn't even realise that it is chucking it down outside. So I just finished the book um, and it's getting dark outside now. I think I completed it in the time frame. I think I might have been a bit over. But um, I gave this book four stars. I did really enjoy it up until the ending. There was a bit of a plot twist at the end um, within like the last 20 pages. And I'm not sure that I like the plot twist. I obviously don't want to say anything because it will give away the whole premise of the story. Um, but it it just wasn't a very satisfying ending, I don't think. And I think it was more, I think the plot twist was more for the shock factor. Um, but I didn't like it. I think I'm going to sit on my review for a while. I think at the moment from finishing I would give it 4 stars but it might drop to a 3.5 later on um, but yeah I enjoyed the entirety of the rest of the book um, also there is a lot like I'd say a good portion of the book like it's mentioned throughout um, there is a lot of fat phobia and fat shaming like it's a big part of the story and they kept bringing it up and I I mean I know that it is part of the story one of the characters um, has been fat for the like duration of his life and then there's a time where he loses the weight and everyone's like oh my god you're so skinny and then he puts it back on and I know why it's in the story because it fits it fits the story well there's just a lot of it so if anyone is prone to that being a trigger, I'd make sure that you're aware of that before you read this book. But yeah, it was a really good book. My brain feels a bit frazzled right now because I've literally been reading all day, non-stop. So I think I am going to put the, book, put the books down and I think I might watch a film or catch up on some YouTube. But yeah, this concludes day two of the readathon. Um, it's been a good reading day. I've read a lot today. Hello, friends. It is day three of the Summerween readathon. It is also Sunday, which means it is Sunday reset day. Um, we're having a big old tidy, a big old clean, 
change my bed sheets I do love a Sunday so I'm not sure how much reading I'm gonna get done today because last night I didn't sleep too well I ended up going to sleep at like 4 a.m um it was just one of those nights where I just couldn't fall asleep so I'm not sure how much reading I'm gonna get done today I also want to start editing this vlog so I can get it up tomorrow um but yes i will catch up with you guys in a bit when i start reading well continue reading mina and the undead i'm very excited to continue oh my god okay so it is now the next day i didn't really vlog much yesterday i just had a very busy day um i had a big old tidy and then i made a start on the vlog this vlog you're watching now i made start on the editing and then I did read for a bit. I think I'm about 70 pages into the book now. 72. Um, also, can we just appreciate how cool the chapter pages are? And I really like it so far. It kind of feels like a horror film. Like, it's just setting it all up and the first incident has happened and it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's going to be a good book. Um, and then, exciting news we bought a new car so my brothers and i can go out driving um because i did start to have my lessons before i went to, to uni but i failed my test and i was like i'm doing bounce today again so i took a break so i paused my lessons for a while whilst i was at uni and now i'm returning um watch out people on the roads because I'm coming but I'm going to end the vlog here because I need to start the next couple of vlog days um, I'm splitting this readathon into two vlogs so you should get the next vlog in a couple of days I hope you have all enjoyed this video if you have make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you're also participating in this readathon and let me know if you've finished any of your reads so far and I will see you all very soon. Bye! Baby.